turquoise in this? Only if we can paint one of those dirty rats or a Tweety Bird or a, or a Yosemite Sam on the back trunk lid. This thing's bringing back really bad memories of the Rambler. This thing smells horrible. This is a very awesome clean car compared to the Rambler. <sighs> Holy cow, that thing yeah. stinks. <laughs> you know what? This might be the worst one I've ever had to clean out. It's been one I of the most popular guests around. we've ever had on the broadcast, and their show, Fast and Loud, has just taken off. So please welcome back to the show Richard Rawlings and Aaron Kaufman. Up Hi, guys. Hey, which, hey. which one of you guys was calling for the turquoise in the middle of the car, in the inside of the car? The turquoise? Yeah, someone said, can we do turquoise? <laughs> oh, it's probably me. I'm always looking for something weird. All right. <laughs> what did that car smell like? You all were saying how bad it smelled. What, uh, what strawberries the... and blueberry muffins, usually. <laughs> no, they actually, they never smell like that. <laughs> yeah. well, most of the time, it's uh, deceased small animals. Uh, oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, it's not pleasant. So okay. what did y'all turn that car into? Is it amazing now? It we, is. You actually saw a couple cars there. The station wagon, uh, we got an Amarillo from a field, and we drug it all the way back here, and it took us more time to clean it out than it took us to build it. But anyway, it ended up looking pretty close to the same on the outside, but the inside was a completely modern vehicle. Uh, big brakes on it, wow. big wheels on it, new motor. Well, we see the after on. It's your season finale tonight. No. Is that correct? Mid-season. Mid Mid-season. Yeah. Mid-season. Okay. Wow. We, we see the, uh, the before and the after tonight? Uh, one of those cars already been on. The other one will be coming on in a couple a couple more episodes. Uh, tonight's the 38 Ford, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. So, so y'all, I mean, are y'all having a blast doing this? It is. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it is uh, a lot of fun. I mean, we get paid to um, play with cars and drink beer. It's not a bad gig. <laughs> <laughs> that are, is a good gig. Are you surprised at the following that you have? I mean, you guys are, it's a pretty big deal. It's the beard. Uh, it's <laughs> yeah, it's a, a, a truth. It's a, it's a little shocking the uh, the following, and, and sometimes it's it's hard for me to grasp. But uh, every day, the people that come by the shop, the uh, and the reactions I get from people outside, I, I think people are digging it. Well, it's so funny. I was at a charity event on Saturday afternoon. I bumped into Richard, and people were like, "Oh my God, you know him? You know him? Can we get an introduction? You know him?" I'm like, "Yeah, he was on the broadcast. We're like old buds." <laughs> and you were wearing a T-shirt that said what? Do you remember your team? <laughs> oh, he, no, and, and then another guy I met knew Aaron, because they both had these we, big we beards. Are, there's a network, and everyone that has a, a beard, beard network. Each other. There's like yeah. this community of bearded men. But it was the funniest, yeah, yeah. it was the funniest t-shirt. It was the funniest t-shirt. It was a t-shirt that said like, stop looking at my, uh, or stop looking at my beard, my eyes are up here. <laughs> oh, <no>, that's <laughs> funny. That's so funny. like, are the ladies just like, running behind y'all? Oh, I don't know. I don't ever look back. I don't know. Let's hey, say, hey, oh, y'all hey, hey, them all up and hit them whenever we had them when the show came on. So. <laughs> okay, so when, let me ask you. When you're doing the show, do, are you actually working on a real customer's car that is brought into you? Sometimes. Um, most of the time, we're building the car to sell it. Uh, yeah. A few times, uh, like in tonight's episode, we actually had a customer that wanted the car, and so we were helping spec it out the way he wanted it. Yeah, so, my hobby's in, in other words, nope. this, <laughs> this the 38 Ford. This 38 Ford. venue for you, then, if you've got a car and you're redoing it, then people on television can see it and maybe bid on the car, or, which yeah. is pretty fantastic because you're making money both ways there. Well, it, sometimes, but most of the time, we're the, because of the lag, uh -huh. uh, we've already built the car and sold it by the time the show comes on. Like tonight, the customer already has the car. So how has this affected you? Like, since you're on TV now, you're on TV, you've been on Good Morning America, do you walk more cocky? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> her <laughs> doing all that dance when she I does don't know. that. I don't know. you ladies. <laughs> hey, listen, our, uh, the Twitter's like blowing up because they knew you guys were going to be on the show. So we have some Questions. Are you ready? Sure. Um, sure. Um, so Nancy Cohen would like to know what state was your favorite to visit and buy stuff in? Hmm. hmm. We haven't gotten to travel too many times out of Texas, uh, only a couple. So uh, as far as the show goes, we're pretty much, uh, we find almost everything here in Texas. But uh, if it was up to me, we'd go somewhere like Hawaii or... Oh, cool. <laughs> I'll, t I'll tell you one, one thing that's interesting about going out of state is in the show, because of the time restraints, we, it's uh, pretty local, but in the last 10 years of buying cars, we found a lot of success buying in the Rust Belt, where cars are all bad because they're really nice cars, mm -hmm. desirable cars. People put up in the garages and left them there mm -hmm. through the winters and then eventually forgot about them and bought new cars or so and so passed on. And so we found a lot of really interesting cars further north where we don't find, you know, your everyday cars are pretty well worn out. Yeah, we so. just bought um, seven cars and six motorcycles. I have a collection in Indiana just last week. So. Oh, wow. You did. There you go. Okay, uh, uh, tell me, the you said the Rust Belt? So you <laughs> the Rust Belt. Okay, this is where it's real humid or like nope. the coastal cities? Well, or? I mean, the, you see that in coastal areas, but what it is basically where they use salt, where you have s snow on the ground for a large uh, large time of the year, large yeah. percentage of the year, and they use salt or salt mix, and so your cars that you drive back and forth to work, or you go get groceries, those cars at the bottom of them just get eaten up with the salt and the oxidation. What do you drive? Okay, well, 
Do you want to get to some wait, of the questions? Wait, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to know what he drove. <laughs> what you... I'm working, man. I have a pickup truck. Yeah, there you go, okay. <laughs> okay, this one's from um, Colton Rundle. What has been your favorite restoration or rebuild? That's got to be a tough one to answer because they're all so different. Oh, it's probably different for each of us. Uh, my favorite one uh, so far has uh, definitely been the... Um, the Rambler, believe it or not, even though it was the hardest one, it was just, it was so kitschy cool and so different when we were done with it that I don't think anyone expected that car to have such a dramatic transformation, so I was pretty happy with it. What about you? Uh, a couple of pickup trucks. We did a 68 Ford mm -hmm. truck that's probably been one of my favorite. If not that one, uh, we did a 32 3 one to uh, Low Boy, and that would probably be my favorite that we've done in the last year. You're a truck guy. I am a truck guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, y'all are coming back, so we're going to get more of y'all, So, but we're going to go to break for a second. You guys, Fast and Loud airs tonight at 8 o'clock on the Discovery Channel. You don't want to miss it. We'll be right back with more with these guys.